With the installation of the Magnum 205, I now have this shifter farm, as I'm calling it. <laughs> I've doubled the amount of shifters that are in the cab of the truck, but I've also increased the capabilities of the truck substantially. But for this video, I'm just going to go into what these shifters do and how you move them. In a subsequent video, we'll get into the benefits and how they work and uh, the Magnum Box and 205 itself. But uh, to keep this short and sweet, let's just bang through what all these shifters do. So right now, I'm going to put everything into... Everything is in neutral. The Magnum Box deck technically doesn't have a neutral, but you can find one on it. But starting driver's side. Here is my gear selector. This is an art car gated shifter made by Winters or Sidewinder. There's a bunch of different names for them. But uh, this is a great gated shifter with positive engagement and it is cable driven. So it's remote mountable and uh, a ton of options into how you want to position it and things like that. So let's leave that guy in neutral right now. Moving over, I have my Magnum box. This is what sits in front of the 205 and gives me that reduction ability. So I can run this in Magnum box in high, which is just straight pass through. One to one, it's as if the Magnum box isn't even there. If I move the lever forward, I get it into reduction mode. So this is like my range selector in my um, original transfer case where you can go from four low to four high. I basically got that ability outside of the transfer case, at the front of the transfer case. And then these are my shifters for my uh, transfer case. It's twin stick, meaning that I have independent control over both the rear drive shaft and the front drive shaft. And b both of these will have three positions. I will obviously have four wheel low, which is all the way forward, neutral, neutral, high, high. Obviously, this is going to be four wheel high. I've got my Magnum box in the pass through. I've got both my rear drive shaft and my front drive shaft in high. So I've now got my four wheel drive high. Move it to neutral, move it to low. I now have Magnum box in two to one and the shifters for the transfer case in low. So, sorry, this is the one to one still. So this is essentially just the 205 by itself running in low ratio, which I think is 196 to one. So there you've got two speeds right there. You've got your four wheel drive high and your four wheel drive low. Now I can move the Magnum box into low. So I've now taken the Magnum box and I've introduced the reduction gear into it. So it's now, I think, a 242 to one. And let's go back to where we were before. I'm in four wheel drive high on the shifters. Rear shifter, rear drive shaft is in high. Front drive shaft is in high. Magnum box is in low. That's my third gear. Fourth gear, Magnum box in low. 205 in low gives me my fourth speed. So I have two speeds in Magnum Box high and I have two speeds in Magnum Box low. That's where you get the four speeds out of it. Uh, tons of flexibility. The main difference is I have a range box that can it basically uh, it gives me the, the option of running two transfer cases, so to speak. Uh, I've got a, a, the transfer case ratio that's in the 205, and then I can reduce it with the Magnum box in the front of it. So uh, independent control of the front and rear drive shafts. Uh, main benefit for that is going to be for uh, really tight turns, for example. You can put your front drive shaft into into drive, leave your rear drive shaft in neutral. If I had a cutting brake or parking brake or some sort of line lock that I could apply to the rear, I'd be able to do a really tight pivot using, uh, using this front dig or front drive shaft control. So, uh, but for all around town driving, just normal stuff, I am gonna run this. Let's get it. They do bind a little bit, there we go. So that's in low, neutral, neutral, high, neutral. Magnum box in high, 
straight pass through, transmission, obviously wherever I want it, rear drive shaft in high, front drive shaft in neutral. I'm driving around town, everything's all good. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on. It gives you a lot of control, a tremendously low crawl ratio, which is good for preserving parts and maintaining traction and control. Uh, but it's still pretty simple. This is just straight lever engagement. It's all mechanical. I'm basically just shifting between a, a bunch of different gears in the transfer case. Uh, so that's it. I hope this explains it. If you like this video, give me a subscribe. It always helps and uh, drop me a comment down below if you have any more questions, stuff you want to see. And uh, go check out some of my other videos that are going to be up in one of these corners up here. This this corner or this, I don't know, they'll be around. Go check them out and uh, yeah, I'll have more stuff for you on this coming up. We're going to do a deep dive as to what the box has inside it and how it works and things like that. But uh, I had a lot of questions about this and I wanted to answer this for you guys. So um, thanks for checking it out. Merrick's Garage.